In this lesson, we're going to find symmetries of graph. We're also going to determine whether a function is symmetric with respect to the x-axis, y-axis, or the origin. And then lastly, determine whether a function is odd or even when given its graph. Symmetry. An object has symmetry if it can be divided into two identical pieces that are mirror images of each other. In this example here, you see the bird and you see a mirror image of that bird across that line. Now that line is known in the rectangular coordinate system to be the X axis. Uh, so if we were referring to it in terms of a graph, we would say that this uh, object uh, is symmetric about the X axis, meaning it is a mirror image reflected across the X axis. So if an object or graph is symmetric about a line, the line divides the graph into two uh, identical parts, such as you see here. So again, we would say this object is symmetric about the x-axis. Now take a look at this face. Now it, on the other hand, has what we call uh, y-symmetry. It is symmetric about the y-axis. Recall the y-axis is vertical up and down. And since uh, when this space is divided, uh, it has two equal parts. Uh, and again, that's symmetric about the y axis. Now, it is not symmetric about x because if we divide our face that way with the about the x axis, if you were to uh, look at it in terms of a piece of paper and you fold that paper, it is not going to be the same uh, when it is symmetric about the x. It is not symmetric about the x-axis, but it does have symmetry about the y-axis. And we have some objects that are symmetric about a point. For example, this flower, uh, it is symmetric about its center because you can fold it diagonal or you can fold it uh, on the x-axis, the y-axis, diagonal, it doesn't matter how you fold it. Uh, it's still going to have uh, symmetry because it's symmetric about the origin or the center. So we call that something that is symmetric about the origin. Okay, so let's do some practice. I want you to determine whether these graphs are symmetric about the x-axis, y-axis, or the origin. So just so that you know that if a graph is symmetric about the origin, it is also uh, symmetric about the x and y, okay? Uh, I didn't mention that on the slide before, but just so you know that, of course, if it's symmetric about the origin, it's also going to be symmetric about X and Y. OK, um, so let's look at the first example there. We have a parabola. What would you say that parabola is? Is it symmetric about X, Y or the origin? Well, if you said symmetric about Y, you're absolutely correct because if we were to fold this graph right there on the y-axis, you would see that there are uh, mirror images of each other. What about the circle? Symmetric about the x-axis only, the y-axis only, or the origin? If you said symmetric about the origin, you are correct. And recall when it is symmetric about the origin, it is also symmetric about the X and Y axis. 
All right. Uh, the last one, the parabola that's sitting on its side there, is this symmetric about the x-axis, the y-axis, or the origin? If you said symmetric about x, you are absolutely correct, because if we were to fold the paper along the x-axis, we would see that there is a symmetry about the x-axis. There you have it, identifying reflectional symmetry. Odd and even functions. You can determine whether a graph uh, has odd or even functions by simply uh, looking at it if you're given a graph. So a function that is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, uh, such as in the example of uh, one here of this parabola, uh, then it is called an even function. And if a function is symmetric with respect to the origin, then it is called an odd function. And then obviously, if it is not uh, symmetric with respect to either of those, then it is going to be neither. So as we saw, this parabola, yes, it is symmetric about the y-axis, so therefore we would call that an even uh, function. The second example shows you a graph that is symmetric with respect to the origin, and that is an odd function. And recall, remember with odd functions, they have that one function is up, one function is down. In other words, two opposite ends uh, and it is the leading term that determines uh, whether the graph is going to be moving upward or uh, moving downward. So notice this graph is moving from left to right uh, and it's moving in an upward motion. So I can tell from this that uh, this odd function here has a leading coefficient of uh, a positive number because it starts falling and it ends with a rise. Looking at the last example there, this graph is neither symmetric about uh, the y-axis nor the origin, so it's not even and it is not odd. Uh, so this is an example of one that we would say neither, falls in the neither category. Okay, so let's do some practice with uh, determining whether a graph is even, odd, or neither. So how about graph A? What would you say that is? Okay, so if you said that this one is odd, you would be correct because notice it is symmetric with respect to the origin, so therefore this is an odd function. How about B? Well, notice that if you were to fold B right on the y-axis there, it would be two mirror images of each other. So therefore, that will classify uh, as an even function. And C, what would you say that is? Well, let's look at whether it's even. To be even, it would be, need to be symmetric about y, which means you would need a hump on the other side of y, which we don't see, so it's not an even function. To be an odd function, uh, it would need to be symmetric about the origin, which means you would see a hump this way, sort of, and we don't see that. Uh, so therefore, this would be fall into the category of neither it is not symmetric with respect to the y-axis and it is not uh, symmetric with respect to the origin, meaning it's not odd or even. It falls under the category of neither. And there you have it, odd, even, and neither. Identifying the graph of a polynomial function just based on everything that we've learned so I want you to take a look at this polynomial function that's given, and I want you to determine, uh, based on everything that we've learned about multiplicities and about 
leading coefficients uh, in behavior of graph, odd and even functions, symmetric about the x and y, uh, which uh, equation best matches the graph? Well, first of all, I can see that this graph has symmetry about the y-axis. If we fold it right there on the y-axis, it's mirror images of each other. So therefore, uh, it is an even function. The other thing we notice with an even function, even function is where both ends are up or both ends are down. Uh, in terms of whether it's up or down, it is the leading uh, term or the leading coefficient that will tell you whether it's up or down. And since they're facing down, I'm looking for a coefficient of a negative number. So it cannot be B or D. We can cross those off right away. The other thing is that this uh, is an uh, even function. And with this even function, um, we can look at the multiplicity. So A has a multiplicity of 1 plus 1, which is 2. 2 is even. Uh, but a graph that has a uh, two as its degree would be a quadratic function, meaning a parabola. This is not uh, a parabola. Now C has two plus two, which is a degree of four, and that sounds about right. Uh, fourth degree, it's an even polynomial. It has a leading coefficient of a negative. And so C is the choice. Again, it cannot be A because A would be a parabola facing downward. Because remember, any degree with a squared degree is a parabola. And there you have it. Just using everything that we've learned and being able to identify uh, the equation of a polynomial function. Let's do one more just to make sure we got this. So we have four different graphs, and we want to know which graph is represented by the polynomial function f of x equals x cubed plus 4x squared minus x minus 4. So notice that the highest degree is a degree of 3. So this is an odd polynomial, which means one end is going to be facing up and one end is going to be facing down. So automatically, we can exclude A and C because it cannot be A or C because A and C are even functions. So now we need to determine whether it's B or D. Notice that the leading coefficient is a positive number. And with a positive, it, it, from left to right, it is going to be moving in an upward motion, starting down, and when it finishes, it is up a rise, and that is why it is choice B. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching MVP Tutorials by your instructor, Dr. Spates. I hope you'll join me in the next lesson. Please feel free to like share, and subscribe. Goodbye for now.